Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to draw this little cute frog. It's a simple 2D drawing by SolidWorks. If you want to practice it by yourself or you want to follow with me by using the sketch, you can download it from the link in the video description. Also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel This will help me create more videos in the upcoming future. Now, let's go to the drawing. The sketch is symmetric, so I'm going to sketch the left side and then mirror it to the right side. First, I'm going to sketch on the top plane. The first sketch is very simple. It's just a center line and some lines and circles. Follow with me. Make sure you are dimensioning using the center line, not a point, to get this dual dimensioning. Should be 100, despite the line itself is 50, but the dimensioning should be 100, so make sure the dimension looks like this, by clicking on the, on the point here and the center line. Now let's sketch some circles. This circle will be 7 millimeter. And this point here and this point should be vertical. Now the circles here, you can sketch these circles using uh, the circles only command and making a tangent relations or you, only, or you can use linear sketch pattern. I will show you. Click on your linear sketch pattern. Choose 7 millimeter. Make the circles 3 and now choose the circle itself. Okay. Now, click on dimensioning, click on any two centers and make the distance 7. They are already 7, you just need to confirm. Now, create a line from here to here. Line should be blue of course, now I'm going to fully define it by dragging it and dropping until we have a horizontal and the coincident relation as we see, these yellow relations. Now the next part you may didn't encounter in using SOLIDWORKS is called a partial ellipse. It's from the ellipse menu. Click on it, choose the center line, Click on this point here and move to the middle circle. Click here. And move here until you reach the origin point. Now let's dimension from this point and this line. Click 30 millimeter. Now it's fully defined. All you have to do left is to create a line here. Now sketch it the lower part. Now I'm going to move to the upper bar because we have a middle dimension here, we don't have its true dimensions. So we need to sketch the upper bar and I'm going to do some relations to discover this dimension of this of the circle here. There is a circle here, you will notice it doesn't have dimensions. Now let's create a center line like this. From this point here to this line, make it 95.5. Now let's create a circle, and a circle like this. Dimension, make it 10, and make this circle 30. You will see the center here of the circle touches the diameter of the smaller circle. Make these two centers vertical. Now using the center of the bigger circle I'm going to create some dimensioning. First should be 35 millimeter and this center should be 7 millimeter from this point on the center line. 
Now let's create a center line like this. Create a circle here. The circle should be 33 millimeter. The distance should be 16. And the distance between this point and this center line we created should be 20 millimeters. Don't forget to create a line here to connect. I know the dimensioning is overwhelming and uh, it can make you literally blind. But you need to concentrate. You can check always by exiting the sketch and seeing your sketch how it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to create a circle here. Watch with me, because it's the tricky part. Make the circle a 24 millimeter. Make the center and this distance 70 millimeter. And make it with the center line here 25 millimeter. Now draw a line from this end here. Make it tangent with the circle. You can always chain trim this part using trim or you can drag it until it makes a coincident relation as we see and it's fully integrated to the circle. Now I'm going to create a center point arc. Make this arc at this height here. Click on here. Make it dimension 80. Make sure the center point of the arc and the center line should be coincident. Now you can drag it or you can use an extend entity by moving the arrow here to this part and click OK. Now it's fully integrated to the circle. There's no need to move it. Now let's go to the hidden dimension. This circle. All we know about this circle is that it's 90 millimeter and it's horizontal with the origin point. This circle here is tangent to this arc here. Now it's fully defined. You can now trim this part. Okay. Now I'm going to sketch a this line here. This line should be tangent. You can move it. This, you can move this line until it makes a coincident, or you can just trim it like this. Using a trim to close it. You can use also power trim, but I prefer trim to close it. It's easier. Now, let's create a center line like this. Trim this quarter circle. Create a center line until it touches the arc. This will leave us with one point here. Create a line from this point to this circle. Now trim all the parts. Trim this line here. Create a center line from this point to this point. Make a collinear relation. Now we're ready to mirror.
All we got left is a center point arc here. From this center to this center. Make sure this arc and this line is coincident. Now the dimensioning will be a problem. I'm going to use the point. Create a point here. You can create this dimension using many means, but this is the easier one. Make sure you made a point here. Okay. Then click here and this point. Make it 10 millimeters. If you created it before mirroring, if you created half arc here, you will need to dimension it again. So this is why I didn't create it before mirroring. Let's extrude, make sure each contour is separate. You can draw the mouse from using the sketch here and click click on the sketch and click on show and choose the mouse and click convert entity then create an offset to this mouse it should be one millimeter click on bidirectional and cap ends and arcs and click on base geometry click ok then exit root cut through all now we have now let's hide the sketch again now we have this cute little box if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like thank you for watching see you in the next video